You know, I'm getting sick of these old cartoons. Same old, same old, all the time. We need something new. Something that I've never seen before. Something that'll blow my mind away. What's this? This is what we need. Hey everybody, I'm Superside JB, and welcome to the second to last video for Sonic Mud. At least, I think this is the second to last video for Sonic Mud. Uh, give me a sec, guys. Alright, I'm correct. This is the second to last video for Sonic Mud. So, you know, I decided to try something new for Sonic Mud. How about we go ahead and look at some Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon shows? That's right, Sonic has had four, count them, one, two, three, four cartoon shows throughout his entire 25 years of existence. That's a lot, man. So, why don't we go ahead and look at them? I mean, we already done some video games, so why not cartoons? Let's go! Alright, to start off our list, we have The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I used to watch this show all the time when I was a little kid. Every Saturday morning, I just get up and watch it, and I really enjoy it. Especially this theme song right here. I always just love this theme song so much, you have no idea. And just like that, I always make fun of these guys. <laughs> ah, scratching grounder, you classic weirdo people, whatever the heck you are, I don't know. And, well, I just enjoy this intro so much that I practically acted it out myself every Saturday morning. That's right, I pretended. I was Sonic the Hedgehog, and I tore off Eggman's mustache, or, sorry, Robotnik. Yeah, he was called Robotnik in this one. Yeah, this is the first Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon that ever came out, and it was fairly decent. I mean, it was really a kid's show, definitely. You have Sonic, Tails, Eggman, or Robotnik, sorry, and Scratch and Grounder. And I love how it starts off with Sonic running like this, like with one of those run animation cartoon thingies. That way you can definitely tell that this is definitely a cartoon. Definitely. How many times did I say definitely there? <laughs> and you also get to meet up with Tails a lot, and it's a fun ride here. Alright Tails, with the power of teamwork, me and you will go take on the evil Dr. Robotnik. Alright, let's go run around this road while I make the road come up like that for some reason. Because I am magical. Hurry up, Tails! Can't wait for you forever! And now, we see the beautiful view of that city of squares and blocks. Uh-oh, Scratch and Grounder are here! What do we do, guys? They're gonna kill us! They're gonna get us! And they have random hands come out of a Christmas tree? And now they're just gonna rub it in their faces like that. Man, these guys are total jerks, am I right? Can you believe these guys? I mean, come on, man. Time to put on a really sappy story for them to let us go. Seriously, how dumb can these guys actually be, man? I mean, they're Eggman's robots, though. Who am I kidding? They're probably very, very stupid. But anyways, we go back to a flashback scene where, um, everybody's scared of what's to come here. Mainly scared of all the enemies around here. They're mainly just trying to destroy the one and only Sonic. Like this guy. Isn't he so friendly? Hey, that lady likes what you did, man. Thanks for tearing apart my house like that. It needed some remodeling. I really appreciate it. Nope, no one is very friendly in this town. Oh well, might as well believe. Bye bye. Later in this episode, Dr. Robotnik has planned something evil and sinister. He's the one gathering all these evil guys up to try and destroy our lovely Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh no! Yeah, he's kind of rotten. He's clearly. Um, rotten is not good enough for him. But don't worry, Sonic and Tails will come here and save the day from him. Seriously though, I didn't none of these guys even notice him walking right through the entrance like that. And Eggman's real pissed. And there's Sonic. He's got a picture of him. I didn't know he had a shrine in me. How nice of him. Eight, what his teeth said. And what was with his sting of teeth breaking like that? And really, Sonic is in the crowd right now, 
and not a single villain has seized him? Um, how blind are you guys? He's right there, come on! There's also some other things in the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon, such as Sonic Says, which is basically just a lesson for kids to learn, like this. Yeah, and this one, Tails wants to call 911, but Sonic says, Oh no, no, we're too good for 911, Tails. That's only for real emergencies. There's clearly getting attacked by evil robots. This is not an emergency in Sonic's view. Yeah. That's nice. And here he says, Sonic says, Tails, your spelling's terrible, man. Here, I fixed that for you. And what a nice day for lunch. Wherever the heck this guy is, I don't know. But no, you can't have my lunch, man. That's right, but this is mine. Stay away. And Sonic just gives a lesson about sharing. Sharing is caring. What are you, SpongeBob? I mean, sharing's good and all, but come on, Sonic. Isn't there anything better in this? Really, come on. But not There's to forget the most cool important one of all, this like. one. But if someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. Clearly, because Sonic it's is talking body. about some very no inappropriate right things right there and to trying to teach so kids a lesson on not trying no. to then attack people. Or, that's the friendly term for it. You gotta yeah. tell someone you okay, like yeah, tell an adult teacher, and blah blah blah. Yeah, that's very inappropriate, Sonic. But best of all from the Sonic as a cartoon is this. That's right, Eggman's most famous quote of all time. Pingus, Pingus, all that stuff. Up next, we have Sonic Underground. Yeah, you know that cartoon show where Sonic buries himself underground. Uh, wait, that's not what it's about? Um, okay, let's just go ahead and talk about it. Alright, so here we have the second made Sonic cartoon. Yeah, that's right, Sonic Underground. And this is a, actually a very short TV show. It actually didn't do so well, man. I mean, it only made like, what, 40 episodes or something? And just failed before he, its first season even ended, man. But yeah, it's about Sonic having siblings. I mean, Manic and Sonya, and they're trying to find their mother because she is missing for some reason and she gave up the baby because some kind of curse or whatnot, I don't know. But she really misses her children, even though it was all her fault, lady. Come on, man. I mean, you gotta take care of your children at some point, yeah. And yeah, Robotnik definitely looks weird in this one. But yeah, Sonic is at a very young age in this game. But yeah, his mother is just waiting for some reason because of prophecy or whatnot, I don't know. This is some confusing stuff. Sonic Underground, folks. There you go. There you have it right there. But honestly, I don't know that much about this show. I mean, it only lasted for a little bit, but not much is actually given about it. So that's pretty much all I have for this show. It was an okay show, man, but it just didn't last very long. I guess Sonic having a prophecy and all that was just kind of confusing for ch children and all that. And having siblings who were never seen again. Rest in peace, Sonya and Manic. Up next, we cannot forget the one, the only, the best show ever, Sonic X. That's right, a Sonic the Hedgehog anime was made, and this has the best opening sequence, cutscene, whatever the heck you want to call it, in history, man. Gotta go fast, it's such an amazing song. It makes me, gets me so pumped, man. I feel like I can go fast right now, man. Oh, man. Yep, this song got me every time, man. Every time I heard it, I was just like, all right, we gotta watch some Sonic X, man. Let's watch this. All this weirdness of the Sonic anime and everything. That's right, I used to get up every morning, every Saturday morning at least, to watch this one. And this is actually a really good show. Well, sort of, at least. I mean, there are things that kind of ruin the show, but some of the episodes are really good and all. But overall, I gotta go fast whenever I hear this song. Sonic X, man. Here we have it, folks. The one and only Sonic X. The best cartoon in history. That's right. You can also just start off this entire show with the first episode. Sonic basically just gets captured and sent to this other dimension where he meets some new friends. And now we're gonna go ahead and fight Eggman because he showed up here too. And why not? Yeah, Eggman. Yeah, there is lots of good episodes for this, but... You know, some of the characters practically ruined it. They added the human character, Chris Thorndike, who... Ah, <sighs> Chris, nobody likes you. Let's just put it that way, okay? You practically ruined this entire show just because 
you aren't liked. Um, what? Anyways, there's lots of fight scenes between Sonic and Eggman overall, and it's actually the first time um, Jason Griffith voiced Sonic. That's right, Ryan um, Drummond was no longer voicing Sonic, and they hired in a completely different cast of characters. And I love how they all just break into this house randomly, and like half of them don't even notice that they're even there. Isn't it funny, guys? Haha, <laughs> Cream's gonna get in trouble. Yeah, but she is only a six year old, that's right. And this scene right here made me sad, man. Something has broken her heart for some reason. I forget what it is since I haven't seen this episode in forever, but Amy. By the way, I really enjoy this voice for Amy. I think she's the best Amy Rose voice actress of all. I mean, she just nails the character perfectly. But, uh-oh, Amy looks pissed. Eggman or Sonic or Knuckles or anybody's in trouble. You better run, people. She's gonna get you with the hammer. It looks like she's aiming towards Eggman's robot. I love Sonic's reaction right there. Priceless, man. Just priceless. And just smash away at that robot with just a single hammer. Man, how strong is that hammer? Amy's been working out. Yep, and Amy's just gonna go ahead and take this on all by herself, man. It's clearly, she's that strong of a girl. She's that headstrong, man. I am so in love with her right now. What? Uh, wait, did you all hear that? Um, sorry. I actually forgot to mention this, but there's actually a few episodes that are based on Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. Because Sonic Adventure 2 is definitely the best game of all time. That's this definitely 100% fact right there. Who Not my opinion, it's 100% true and is amazing. Shadow himself is an awesome character in this, and, but I wish he would appear more often, man. I mean, every time Sonic got a character that they want in more, Sega's like, no, no, get rid of him. He's too popular now. He'll appear maybe in the future, but he won't last long. Goodbye. Alright, and up last we have Sonic Boom. They made a TV show about Sonic Boom, that awful game that sold, like, who knows how many copies? Five? I don't know. Why is this a thing? Why? Why is Sonic Boom a TV show? Why, Sega? Why? Hey, it's actually not that bad. After watching the first season and some episodes, it actually wasn't that bad to be honest with you all. It's mainly more of a comedy than an action adventure like Sonic X was. It's kind of got like a mix of um, Sonic the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic X. So yeah, you got the humor and you got the action adventure style. And the first episode, Sonic just makes fun of Eggman like crazy with his burn bot that he misnamed. But Tails gets hurt later and blah. Blah, 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 you know, Tails messing up again. Come on, man, really. But Sonic says they're gonna go ahead and retire forever for some reason, because I am all of a sudden really worried about you. And you also got some other funny moments in the show, like when this moment, when Sonic is trying to find a sidekick, but Knuckles wants to be a sidekick instead. And Knuckles is not a good choice for a sidekick, man. But, yeah, it usually ends off every episode when Sonic defeats Eggman, and Eggman goes home to cry himself to sleep every night. Wah, 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 cry, baby, cry, and everything. But, yeah, it usually ends in a good note, except for right here, when Knuckles Jr. didn't work out for Knuckles needing a sidekick. But Amy volunteers to do it. And then she starts singing when the Saints go marching in. That's episode one, basically. And there's other episodes like this one where Eggman decides to stay over the night because he did something to his lab or whatnot. I don't know. I don't follow the details of a um, magazine of the month or evil villains for higher month, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, Eggman's got pink pajamas, and really, there's not much else to the show, man. I mean, it's fine. But in all seriousness, this show wasn't that bad, to be honest. I mean, he even made a second season running on Cartoon Network, but, um, it runs at 7 o'clock in the morning. I know, I used to get up every morning for Sonic X or the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, but it's getting harder for me to wake up in the morning. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is the last cartoon, actually, so we pretty much covered all the cartoons for Sonic, I think, at least. Yeah, yeah, we're good, man. But, yeah, I like the cartoons. They're not that bad and whatnot. I don't know. So, Sonic cartoons, are they good? Are they bad? Well, I had a fun time watching some of the episodes, but just, um, like, some of the episodes also suck. 
I mean, there you got the kids show, you got the anime, they had the weird characters that ruined the show. Chris Thorne got yeah! And you also got the show that didn't last very long whatsoever, and you got Sonic Boom. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, they're not bad and all, but I'd rather play Sonic than the drug video games. Any day, man. Any day of the week. Sonic! If you listen to me, you're my hero, man. You're awesome. So I guess I'll see you guys until the final video for Sonic Month. It's getting sad this is about to end, but one more video, guys. Just one more video. Alright, until next time, bye, guys.